hey welcome back to my channel my name is monica janae if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button turn the notification bell and leave a comment down below so this is my second week of doing a keto diet i lost five pounds total okay so it's the middle of the week it's wednesday i didn't record monday or tuesday because i was a little bit busy and i really didn't have much to talk about um because i had already meal prepped on sunday so i had the same meal and i really didn't do much in between that for like lunch and breakfast but i meal prep for like dinner but um yeah it's wednesday now um i'm eating dinner i had some wings from wing stop and some broccoli and cheese because i was still busy and i just needed to kind of hear up and grab something but um of course the broccoli and cheese are from my house and then the wings wings stop so i already had one plate i had four wings before now i got two more and my broccoli and cheese which is delicious we got butter some garlic and some onions so yeah that is it i might come back later on and talk tonight i don't really have nothing to really say um maybe like a few pointers you know what i'm saying that i you know a few pointers a few things items you might can buy and the fact that i forgot to um check my um check to see if i was in ketosis i need to go buy the, the, the strips i didn't buy the strips and i didn't mention it in my last video so yeah i need to um do that find some time to go buy the strips so i can make sure i'm in ketosis because i could just be up here eating and not even be in ketosis but i've lost five pounds so far so i gotta be in ketosis but i'm gonna go ahead and finish my meal and i'm gonna see you back later hey i'm back so this is day number 12 of my 30 day keto challenge um i'm actually about to go run to the store real quick i have what i need um to cook my meal i'm gonna try to hurry up because it is six o'clock now and i want to have my dinner finished I, I like to eat before seven but if i eat you know by 7 30 okay i really want to be done by seven but i'm just gonna make some shrimp and zucchini oh, i'm just gonna make some shrimp and zucchini pasta um so i'm just gonna run out real quick grab some other stuff and i'll be back home and i'll show you how to fix i well, i don't know how to fix it but i'll show you i'll attempt to fix this and show you how i you know how I make it but i'll be back in just a moment okay i'm back home and so i went ahead and prepped you know um everything that i need right now so i got my shrimp i'm about to go ahead and cook that i steamed my um zucchini noodles but i'm gonna saute those as well because i'm um, steamed is not gonna be it's not gonna cut it so this is the noodles that i used i don't think i'll buy these again because you don't get a lot and um uh, seems like kind of mushy like i think i'll stick to a fresh um zoodles <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get started because it's getting late and i need to go ahead and eat you know because it's getting later so stick around <laughs> delicious that parmesan cheese i guess made it smell really good but 
I've never had the zucchini noodles. I, I do like zucchini. I like it to be like sauteed or like, you know what I mean? Yeah, sauteed like how they do it at the Japanese restaurant. I don't like my, I don't like my vegetables to be like really, I mean, um, like soggy. I like them to still have like some crunch to them. So I know that I don't think that these will still have crunch because they're kind of thin. And plus I had to um kind of, um what you call it? Uh... What's, what's the word I was gonna say? Oh, I forgot. Whatever. But um, I might try this out. Looks well, pretty good. I'm sitting here next to my candle. Got me a candle light dinner. <laughs> I just got a small bowl because it's getting late. But it, this is a caramel coffee, caramel coffee um candle. I got this from Marshall. Well, TJ Maxx. It's only six ninety nine. It's the only one that I've seen like this. Cause everything else was pumpkin latte and vanilla and i was gonna get one of the pumpkin candles but you know what they all start to start to smell the same so i got the caramel coffee because i love coffee anyway and i love the smell of it so anyway let's go ahead and try this out enough talking about that gotta smell my food first good really good obviously it's not it's not like you know pasta but i mean it'll suffice and it's actually really good um my zucchini still has a little crunch to it which is good because i kind of like i said i like my vegetables to have a little crunch to them but um yeah this is actually really good like this was quick and easy this was uh this cost me less than eight dollars to make this meal because the shrimp was like five dollars a bag you know get the frozen shrimp and the zucchini noodles were i think like three three like three three yeah like three dollars so yeah it's about eight dollars for the whole meal the only thing i had about the bag i think i had about the bag zucchini if you don't get a lot so it's almost like you need to get two bags because i really don't have much zucchini left but that's why i got a little bit more shrimp because i had tons of shrimp and i didn't really have much zucchini but i'll definitely um probably get the one for the produce instead of like the frozen one i thought the frozen was going to be better in a way because of course it's frozen and it lasts me and i didn't want to have to keep making trips to the grocery store so that's why i got the frozen one instead of the fresh because you know fresh it probably wouldn't have been fresh after two days so i'm gonna go ahead and finish eating and i'll see you guys probably tomorrow hey welcome back so it is day 14 we're in the second week of the keto challenge i might have fallen off a little bit but i haven't had any carbs or anything like that but i still think that i could have done a lot better um so you know what i mean like we got some more time to get it back together but i mean it's it's not that i did anything like tremendously wrong i just felt like i could have done a lot better but um anyway right now i'm about to make some devil eggs because um i know it's like keto friendly of course eggs are and i felt like you know it's like a little snack or something to eat you know what i'm saying like grab a half an egg or something like that um I've never made them before. I might make spicy deviled eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and film that. Um, don't judge because I've never made them before. I do like to eat them, but I never made them. So I'm about to try it and see how that goes. And then you will see.
my little eggs. I mean, yeah, some of them broke apart because them eggs cheap. I know next time, but I tasted a little bit of the, um, you know, like the filling, and it tastes pretty good. So I'm gonna let them get cold, get good and cold, and I'll just eat those as a little snack or whatever. But yeah, I'm finished. I want to come back a little bit later and talk a little bit about this week because I'm just gonna kind of wrap it up because. It hasn't been the most exciting. It wasn't like my last week. I felt like it was exciting last week. This week was a little, you know, but I'm gonna talk about it for a little bit and I'll be back later. So, hey, so I'm coming back. Um, just to talk a little bit um, before I go, cause I'm actually gonna end this vlog tonight, um, which is Saturday. Cause I said I would end them on Sunday, but you know, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that at this point. So I'm just going to end them on Saturday uh, for right now. I um, just wanted to talk a little bit about just like <sighs> some of my struggles for this week. Um, I didn't eat any carbs. I haven't had any. Well, you know what I mean? Like no like bad carbs. You know what I'm saying? Just carbs that are like in some of the foods that I eat. But it's not, it hasn't been a lot. But you know, it's a little. it's been a little stagnant this week. So, you know, hopefully next week, you know it'll be a lot better um i'm gonna have to throw a loop into my diet because usually when you do the same routine you do it for um like a period of time sometimes it you know it doesn't work and sometimes you have to like throw a loop into it so that you know what i'm saying it's like your body is getting used it doesn't get used to the same thing so um you know my plan is probably try to do something a little different i was trying to do something incorporate something different um each week you know while i do this challenge or whatever i know that some people are probably like well keto is not really um a challenge it's more of a a lifestyle and um i'm not gonna lie i'm not planning on making this a lifestyle but i did want to you know challenge myself and try to see if i can go out doing the carbs and so the thing about it is that not doing so many carbs and like um you know preparing meals and teaching myself like when i go out like how to buy purchase things like you know buy foods or you know snacks drinks anything like that that i have an option or whatever i know it's a little bit hard but the more you you know the more you do it and the more you you know get out there and kind of research about what you can eat you know what I'm saying it becomes a little bit easier so um i'm not gonna say that i would do keto i don't think it's for me um but however i can definitely do like low carb and just like cut a lot of carbs out because it's really not hard i mean it's, it I mean, it can be i mean it's hard but you, you know what i'm saying if you're um, a very disciplined person you can really do it i know like i might have picked the worst time of the year to decide to do the keto because it's october and november december and that's the months that i want to eat the most like i'm dying for like a latte right now like i really want a latte now i could get one but you know what i'm saying i would have to you know do a keto or whatever but i really i want the full fat okay i want the fat the sugar everything that comes with it but i mean um it's not something that i would do every, which i don't do it right any every day anyway but it's not something i would do very often but i do want one <laughs> so you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna get through this until like probably november but i'm trying to make it to 30 days you know what i'm saying um i do see that i have lost um inches like i see a, a big difference i've only lost five pounds from the week that i started which was last week up until this week so i only lost a pound this week um like i said i had to throw a loop into my diet to you know maybe see a change and i need, do need to go work out it's just that i've been so busy that i haven't um been able to get to the gym or whatever but i'm just going to try to incorporate it in like fitting into my schedule somewhere to where i can like make a routine or whatever but yeah and then i didn't um go get the um keto ketone sticks or whatever they are to re you know to see if i'm into ketosis which i think i am because i haven't had any carbs um which I don't know if that means anything, but I haven't eaten anything um, to where it would throw it off. But I do need to get them so that I can know that I'm in ketosis for sure. I just haven't got the chance to get to the store. It's like I forget. I wrote a list of things down, but it's like I'm forgetting to... Some things I'm forgetting to put on my list. Like I would try to write things down 
you know, as I think about it. But that's one of the things I forgot to get. So if I can think about it, I will get those those trips. But yeah, um, and I also didn't take a photo, like do a side by side. But what I could do is I do have some photos where I've taken recently of myself. And I will maybe use one of those and take a picture once I'm done the actual, when I get to the 30 days, I will take a picture, a photo of myself and do like a side-by-side -side comparison because I forgot to do a side-by-side -side comparison. It's like I keep forgetting, but I think that that will, will work if I just take a old photo of myself from like maybe two months ago and up until this point now and do a side by side of what I look like now because I, I can see inches now maybe you know what I'm saying somebody else might not see it but I notice it um or whatever because you now sometimes you lose inches before you actually you'll see inches coming off before you see weight or whatever but yeah I'm gonna um get back to you know get a little bit more disciplined I, ha I haven't been eating much as I should because I, I was like skipping a meal or whatever which you know what I'm saying? It says, like, you know, maybe skip a meal, like, fast a meal, which, you know, it, it hasn't been a problem. But, you know, sometimes you just need the nutrients and stuff like that because I would just do coffee, like, replace a meal with coffee. And then, you know what I'm saying, that's it. But i kind of been missing more than, you know, one meal this week. Last week I did it, too, and I was fine. But I need to, um, you know, maybe put a little bit more into my, um, maybe, like, you know, eat a little something, drink a little coffee, eat like a little, like a little egg or a piece of like breakfast meat or something like that. Just to kind of, you know, give myself some, some nutrients. But yeah, it's, um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's coming along. Um, I have been making my meals or whatever and everything's been coming out pretty good. Like I, I, everything's been good so far. Like everything I made, I like so you know what i'm saying that's why i feel like it wouldn't be a problem to you know um have a low carb lifestyle once you know i start to see like you know once i start to make the meals and how good they were coming out like I, i'm like i could do this but i just like i said the keto i don't know about that i don't know i don't know so anyway <laughs> let me stop but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog off um I'm going to start my new week probably tomorrow and end it on, start my new week on Sunday and end it on Saturday because I feel like that might be the easiest way to do it. So anyway, I'm about to go. I'm getting very tired. As you can see, my eyelash coming up. I'm just looking a little, a little busted. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.